Now, what too many people normally do when they start to try and change their lives, they start to try and do too much too quickly. They start to, if they want to start jogging, start trying to jog every single day. If they want to change their diet, they try and completely cut out certain foods in one day. If they want to go to the gym, they want to start by going to the gym every single day. Now, it doesn't work like that unless you have had a very big mental change to your self-image. It's going to be very hard for you to change from doing a certain set of things one day to a completely new set of things another day because we are ruled or we live by our habits and our habits are very hard to break and our habits are a result of you know the way we see ourselves the way we've continually lived our lives and so like i said unless you have had a had a very big experience to shift your mindset into okay i'm no longer being this type of person it can be hard to start making those those radical changes you don't have to start by going to the gym every single day that's gonna be very very difficult because you've been going from never doing anything to trying to do something every single day in a row you're going from a little to a lot with no in between to bridge the gap what you need to start doing is taking things slowly slower than you actually think that you can being easy on yourself okay you know everyone is human everyone makes mistakes also to start changing you know your entire life it's going to take a little bit of time and so you start by implementing whatever it is slowly you're not going to go to the gym every single day you're going to start by going to the gym for 10 minutes now that kind of doesn't make sense like what's the point of going gym 10 minutes you want to do something that is easier than you know that you can do you want to do less than it less than you know you can do at the start why because when people start to go to the gym every single day they're like oh this is so hard i don't know what to do all these all these excuses start coming out you get that resistance you know because it's hard and you actually end up leaving the gym wanting to go home you know wanting to leave which you know everyone you know no one wants to just go to the gym all the time every day you know even me i go to the gym pretty much every day but there are some days that i don't really feel like going of course most of the time I do, however, and that's because I've been doing going for quite a long time and I've, you know, figured out what works for me. However, by going to the gym for 10 minutes at the start, one, it's going to be easy, so you're going to get it done, and that's going to be the first step to getting the consistency. Everything, especially when it comes to building habits, is going to be about your consistency rather than what you're actually doing. Once you have built the consistency, once you've got that, you know, stack of 50 days in a row, or whatever or that stack of 50 you know hours in a week or 50 hours every week for 50 weeks in a row one hour every week for 50 hours 50 weeks in a row once you've got that then you can start to implement and make it harder for yourself but if you try and make it go from zero to 100 make it too hard too quickly like going every single day you may only get three days of that and then you stop and then you start again and then you stop that's not change is it because you haven't adjusted to it if you have adjusted to it but you start trying to do too much you're gonna fall off so you start with 10 minutes then the next day you do 20 minutes so because you've done that 10 minutes in the first day like oh this is easy you actually want to go back to the gym the next day because like okay, I, can do more, I can do more than that but now you're going to stay on 20 minutes you're going to go 20 minutes every day or you know 20 minutes every two days every time you go to the gym you're going to spend 20 minutes for the next week's worth of sessions let's say and it's still going to be, you know, I could, I can do more, I want to do more, blah, 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 blah. You need to get this stage down first. Once you get that week straight, once you get those seven sessions in a row, now you can start to maybe add half an hour. And now you do half an hour for the next month. At that point, you've got already, you know, let's say eight sessions, consecutive sessions in a row that you've gone to and you've ticked off the box. It's not about going hard and doing 100%. It's not about the achievement of what you're doing. It's about the consistency. And the fact is that you've actually gone is an achievement in itself. Then you can start to actually, you know, make the progressions. It's not going to be about making the progress, you know, physically. It's going to be about you getting the consistency. If you wanted to start writing a book, it's going to be about you just dedicating 10 minutes a day to writing even one word. Getting used to it, getting used to it, getting yourself used to it, building the habit. And now once you've built the habit, then it becomes so much easier to do it. But you want to build a simple habit rather than a complicated habit. You want to build a simpler version of what you're trying to do at the start. Whatever it is, like I said, with a book, <clears throat> with a new diet, you know, let's say you just eat one strawberry a day for a week. And now it's like, OK, well, now I can start doing two. Now I can do three. 
now I can have a fruit bowl. Okay, now I can replace this fruit bowl with my original breakfast of, you know, turkey rations or whatever. This is how you're going to start to actually build the consistency, the framework, the foundation that is so key. So now that you're not going to fall off because you're not going to start doing too much too quickly, getting that resistance. You're easing yourself into it, slowly changing your mindset about yourself. Stop thinking, oh, the gym is hard to go to. I'm not the type of person that can go to the gym every day because you have been going to the gym every day, but you've been going for 10 minutes, then 20 minutes, then 30 minutes. Now you're someone that goes to the gym every single day and you get something in rather than a person that, okay, tries to go to a gym, to the gym an hour every single day and on day three they stop because it's too much and they body just, not even physically, their mental aspect of themselves isn't ready for that change and they haven't got that self-concept of thinking, yeah, this is normal, I can do this. It's too difficult because it's too radical of a change. Now, slowly, 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 you keep doing this, keep adding more minutes. You actually know how to work out now, so it's not as daunting, so there's less resistance. Now you can start maybe six months down the road. You know how your workouts work. You know what works for you. You can start to build up and add more things to your sessions, you're learning more. Now you can be that type of person that is, you know, been going to the gym you know, every single week for six months, you know what you're doing, you are the type of person that goes to the gym every week for six months, and now you can go for an hour each time, and now you can start to train, you know, at a normal intensity, and now you're someone that just goes to the gym, and now you're someone that works out, and now you're someone that actually got results from the gym too. <clears throat> but everyone wants to try and do stuff very quickly, and make radical change very quickly. Do it slowly, not only slowly, do less than you think you can, less than you want to, so that in the future you've built that basis you've built that foundation and from within that foundation you've built a very strong new person the person that now goes to the gym of course this is an example this can be to do with anything this can be to do with breaking a habit like smoking it's going to be to do with <clears throat> you know changing the, your relationship with money anything take it very slowly so that you can change the mental aspect which is really what holds people back to overcome the procrastination, overcome the, the, how do I say, the like, the resistance of, oh, but I don't feel like going to the gym today. I'm only going for 10 minutes. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Okay, I'm only going for 20 minutes. 10 minutes was easy yesterday. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. All right. I knew I could do the 20 minutes. That was easy. And I know what I'm doing now. Okay, now I've done that for a whole week. Okay, let's go to half an hour. I've been going to the gym half an hour every single day for the past three weeks. Okay, let's make it an hour. Now it's been six months, I've been going to the gym every day, I've been going to the gym three times a week, whatever it is, for an hour, for six months straight. I'm someone that goes to the gym, I'm seeing results, now this is a new person that you have become. That's how change works. Hope that was useful to you. Peace.